Hi guys, so today I'll be going through FKMO 2023 day one, which is the final Korea Math Olympiad. So if you look at the first question, it states that in a triangle ABC, points D and E lie inside AB and AC respectively, where a uh, point P satisfies the fact that PB equals to PD and P equals to PC. And X is on the arc of AC here, such that Y is the intersection of AX with the circumcircle of ADE. So the first like idea that comes around when you look at this problem is that uh, given the condition that PB equals to PD, right? The first thing that's useful is the fact that the midpoint, let's call the midpoint of BD M1, midpoint of EC M2, and the midpoint of XY M3. We realize that a useful condition is that um, M1P is the perpendicular bisector of BD, and M2P is the perpendicular bisector of EC. And instead of showing that PX is equals to PY, right, um, what we can instead show is that PM3 is the perpendicular bisector of the um, line XY. And the second thing that you should notice when doing this problem is that this is a very like common configuration, which is the spiral similarity configuration. And the reason why is because you have like two circles that are like overlapping. And so the second intersection point over here, let's call it O, will be the center of the spiral similarity sending D to BC. So to write it out, um, note, O is the center of spiral similarity. Sending DE to BC. Or you can also see it as sending a uh, DB to um, EC. Then at the same time, right, you notice that if it sends a uh, DB to EC, it means that um, the triangle. OBD is similar to the triangle OEC, right? Then, by the virtue of the fact that M1 is the midpoint of BD and M2 is the midpoint of um, EC, the triangle OM1D must be similar to the triangle OM2D, which means that O is also the center of the spiral similarity sending um, D to M1, M2, which then implies that we have O, M1, M2, A is concyclic. But at the same time, we notice that since um, P is a perpendicular bisector of BD, and um, EC, the angle AM1P is 90 degrees. And similarly, the angle AM2P is 90 degrees. So we have that AM1PM2 is also concyclic, which means that the five points OM1PM2A is concyclic. Now, we notice that O is also the spiral center sending dy to bx. 
then by similar argument, right? It means that O is also the sen uh, spiral center sending dy to m1, m3, which are the respective midpoints of db and uh, yx. Then using this, using like the similar logic, right? It means that um, O M one M three A is conflicted, which basically means that M three lies on the circle O M one P M two A. So we have that A. Eight, sorry, so we have that O M one uh, P M two M three A is concyclic, which then gives us the result that um, angle A M three P is equals to hundred eighty minus angle. A M one P, which is equal to ninety degrees, which means that um, P M three is the perpendicular bisector of X Y, which then implies that P X is equal to P Y. Yeah. So, in summary, two main things that you should take note of is that you should firstly identify the spiral similarity once you see the configuration of like this, where you have two like overlapping circles, and then you have like two lines originating from here. Then this will be the spiral center sending this line to this line. And secondly is that um, in order to tackle like uh, isosceles type conditions, a very useful way is to consider like um, showing that it's the perpendicular bisector instead. Since um, per perpendicular bisectors lead to uh, the formation of right angles and midpoints, which is very easy to like induce um, similar triangles and uh, cyclic quadrilaterals, which are like much easier to show than like length conditions themselves. Yeah. <clears throat>